I wanted to come chat with you guys this morning before I get my workout in. I'm running a little bit late to it and I got my unicorn crack right here. But I wanted to chat with you guys as I was sitting here. There's something that came up that I was thinking about and it was this whole like help. I've got off track. Like what do you do when you have gone off track and you feel like you can't get back? So I know first off like know that this happens to everyone. I have definitely been there. Everyone in here has been there at some point where we've kind of gotten off track a little bit. Maybe you just had a not so good weekend and you ate too many treats or you drank too much wine or you know you missed too many workouts or whatever it is. Maybe you have gotten off track a little bit and maybe you're feeling like I don't know how to get back on or it's just too hard or I can't do this or oh I already went off so I might as well just go all the way off like I already had I already ate bad so screw it I'll just I can't do this or whatever you know those negative thoughts come in our head and I want to tell you guys like the first thing the first step to getting back on track is to identify the cause so think about how did you get here? How did you get off track per se? So, you know, was it maybe an emotional, really emotional day at work or some other sort of stressful situation that you're going through? You know, maybe you're moving, maybe you something at your job, maybe something in your relationship, um, you know, whatever it is, maybe a weekend away or a vacation or, um, anything that is going on in your life, but you have to be aware of how did you get here? Cause you didn't just show up here, right? You didn't just all of a sudden fall off track. Like something happened. Hey Jamie, uh, something happened that kind of caused you to steer off track. So think about what it was. How did you get here? What is the cause? Like what is the trigger so that we can be more aware next time that it happens because life is gonna happen and the stressful situations are gonna continue to happen and show up in your life. And if we can be aware of those triggers and aware of what might you know, cause us to get off track, it's gonna help us be able to steer back on track or not get as far off track when those things happen. So first thing is to be aware of it and identify the cause and identify how you got here. The second thing, is to look at your surroundings. So what I mean by that is I usually find that like when I've kind of gotten off track, I look around and maybe there is an open bottle of wine on the counter. Maybe there are treats in our cupboards. Maybe there are, you know, um, treat wrappers in my car. Maybe there are cups of like, you know, not unhealthy drinks or things like that. Like there, look at your surroundings and usually I can find, you know, where this is kind of all coming from, what happened. Cause for me, it's usually not off track with my workouts. It's usually the opposite. It's usually off track with my nutrition. Um, so, you know, I see the pizza in the fridge and I see the, this and the, that, and it's like, okay, well, this is a, probably a huge reason why I've gotten off track because if I look at my surroundings, I'm surrounding myself with all of these things that are gonna get me off track. And then the next thing, so first is identify the cause. How did you get here? How did you get off track? What happened? Was it a stressful situation? What was it that triggered that and got you here? The next thing, so that we can be aware of it, the next thing is to look at your surroundings. Are there you know, treats here and there? Are there wine on your counter? Are there things in your cupboard are there what are your surroundings the next thing is that we need to re-watch the videos you guys so most of you guys are probably following to be mindset or ultimate portion fix and those videos are so important and no matter if you've watched all of them before go back and watch them again anytime that i find myself starting to kind of fall off track or lose the motivation or whatever it may be kind of get in a routine and a habit and like oh i'm good i don't really need to use my containers anymore or oh i'm good like i can have extra this and extra that and it's okay and i kind of start to slide off I rewatch the videos and those videos will get my mojo back. They get me back and excited and like, oh, okay, this is what I need to do. This is something I'm gonna implement right now. And it really helps me. The second, the next thing I would say is to get back on track with your tracking. 
you know, have you been um, consistently using your your tracker for your food as well? Because I find that when I'm not using that and I'm not tracking my food, um, it's harder to, I was gonna pull out my tracker, it's harder to know, you know, what I've been eating and if I've been really following it and everything like that. So pull out your tracker and make sure that you're using it. And, or you can use the app on your phone. Um, to track or we also have the food accountability log that's been huge for me I know and the girls that are using it are getting results the girls that are using it and using the tools and tracking and because if you don't track it it doesn't happen you guys if you don't know what you ate like that's why you're where you are so you need to be tracking and in some way whether that's using the app whether it's using your um, I love this paper and pen tracker because it forces me to sit down and be mindful about it every morning and every evening. I take it with me wherever I go. You can use the app on your phone, whatever it may be, but get back to tracking. Rewatch the nutrition videos because there's so much gold in there and it's going to get your mojo back. It's going to get you excited again. It's going to get you, you know, give you the tools to get back where you want to go with your, to be on track. Um, if you're off track with your workouts, then Print out your workout calendar, recommit yourself, write out your commitment statement, re-go into why you're doing this, and just start again, you know, because I think, you know, you need to know that you're never too good for this, you guys. I'm two and a half, almost three years in, and I'm still using this tracker every day. I'm still re-watching the videos. I still have moments where I get off track. But you have to be a student again. You have to continue learning and growing. This is a lifestyle. It is not something you do once for 30 days and you're like, oh, I'm good. Like, I know the containers. I don't need to use them anymore. Yeah, maybe for a little while. But then when you find yourself starting to slide off again, pull those dang containers back out and start using them again. Recommit yourself. Always be learning. Always be growing. Um, the next thing is to set expectations that are realistic for yourself. So many times I see people set these super unrealistic expectations for themselves like, you know, I have to be perfect and if I miss one thing or I eat one little treat, like it's all down the drain and I've wasted all of my hard work and all my progress is gone and I just throw in the towel and give up. Well, I always like to think about this like if you had a car and you got a flat tire on one tire, you would not go slash all the other tires and be like, oh, I got one flat tire, so I might as well just slash them all. No, you would just fix the tire that's not working or whatever. You would fix it and you would go on. So it's the same thing with your journey. Like, yes, of course, I want you to succeed and I want you to fuel your body the best you can. I want you to, you know, get your workouts in. I want you to crush your nutrition plan, all of those things, but set yourself realistic expectations and know that it's okay if you have a little mishap here and there. Like that is life that is gonna happen in all areas of our life and it's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean you ruined all your progress. It doesn't mean that you can't do this. It doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means you're human and it just means you get back up and keep going. So set those realistic expectations and know that it's okay give yourself permission and a little bit of grace and just, you know, it's a fresh start. So anytime that I find myself falling off track, I'm like, okay, tomorrow is a fresh start. I'm not gonna, you know, my old habits used to be, oh, I went way off track this weekend. I'm so pissed at myself. I feel so shamed. I feel so guilty. I'm so mad. You know, I ate way too much crap. I, and I would just like sulk in that terrible feeling about myself. And then I would try to, Either I'd be like, well, F it. Like, I already ate like shit. I'm just, this is done. I might as well just give up and continue eating like shit and go into old bad habits. Or, you know, with binge eating, especially, or emotional eating. Or I would do the opposite and I would say, oh, wow, you really effed up this weekend and you ate way too much shit. Now you need to work that off. Like, you need to restrict your calories tomorrow. You need to run super hard and burn all the extra calories because you effed up. No, like that is not a healthy mindset. So I really had to make that shift for myself. And, you know, even just this last weekend, I went to a bachelorette party and I didn't plan on having quite as much alcohol as I did, but it happened and I'm not going to beat myself up for it. And I'm not going to tell myself that I ruined all my progress and that I'm a failure and that I suck and why can't I do better and 
that I need to, you know, burn 10,000 calories the next day or not eat a single, like cut my calories in half or whatever. Like, no, I just need to get back on track. And I just need to remind myself that this is a lifestyle and that it doesn't happen overnight. This is not a wrap. This is not a pill. This is not a diet. This is not a quick fix for a reason because it's meant to be a lifestyle. And it's okay if you have mishaps here and there, that's going to happen in your journey. It's going to happen in your life. It makes you human. And you get back up and you just keep going and you just try to be better the next day. And you don't, you know, make yourself feel so guilty and so ashamed of having one little bad day here and there. It's okay. So it's not going to ruin everything. Let yourself let go of that guilt and shame and, you know, just start fresh tomorrow. Don't, you don't have to wait till Monday every time to have a fresh start like that mentality too was something I had if I had something bad over the week I'd be like oh I'll just keep going like I'll just start fresh on Monday and or next month or whatever like no you can start fresh tomorrow you can start fresh today if you messed up and there's no if you if you you know did really awesome for like a month or a week or whatever and then you fell off like don't just give up don't just throw in the towel like I said you wouldn't slash all the other tires if one tire went flat If you have messed up for months now, it's okay. There is no end date. There is no, you messed up, you're kicked out. Like, this is a lifestyle. This is a lifelong journey. Get back up, start fresh, and get on it today. Like, it's about progress, not perfection. And every day that you just try to be a little bit better and try to remind yourself that this is a journey and give yourself a little grace and just you know, love yourself and treat your body with love. You know, you work out and you eat right because you love your body, not because you hate it. And so if you messed up, then don't continue to treat your body like shit and punish it because of that. Turn around and be like, you know what? I messed up, but it's okay. I'm not mad about it. I know that this is a lifelong journey. I know that it's not ruining all my progress. I know that I can start my day one anytime and I'm going to just start fresh tomorrow and it's going to be okay. So... I hope that the that was helpful for you guys and I hope that helps you learn, you know, if I did get off track, how do I get back on and how do I identify what got me off track and where I am and how to course correct and it's just about, you know, shortening that amount of time that we are off track. If you get off track, it's okay. It happens. It happens to all of us, it happens to me, it happens to everyone. But let's just try to shorten the amount of time that we are off track. And if you got off track, then just start fresh. It's okay. It's going to be fine. You're going to still see your progress. You're still going to get to where you want to go. You know, sometimes we might have to reroute a little bit on our journey, but it's okay. We can still have that same destination and we're, there's no end date. There's no, if you don't get there by this date, you're done. Like it doesn't matter. You can do this no matter where you're at. So I love you guys. Just want to share that. Hope it was helpful. Happy Saturday. Let's all crush this weekend.